Hey there everyone, Arif here from On Microsoft, and today I'll talk a bit about how to upgrade the SSD in the Surface Laptop 3. If you want to upgrade the SSD, you'll need to buy a specific SSD. It's called the M.2 2230 SSD. I've linked it in the description. You'll also need to have a T5 Torx screwdriver, which, which you can get on Amazon or in a kit like this one here. This iFixit kit will also have a plastic pick or tweezers which will help you pry out the rubber feet from the bottom of the Surface Laptop 3 to remove the screws supporting the chassis. You'll also need a flash drive with 8GB free so you can download a Surface recovery image and reinstall Windows 10 to the new SSD once it's in. A separate USB hard drive or flash drive to save your files around the same size as your existing SSD is also a good thing to have if you want to back up your files or create a system image. Uh, we'll start with that and we'll jump into that aspect now. So to back up your Surface Laptop, you'll want to visit Microsoft's support website. The link is in the description. Once you get there, you'll want to choose your Surface model, input your serial number, which you can find in the Surface app, and then download the recovery image. After download, search for a recovery drive in Windows and choose the option to create a recovery drive. Connect your USB and uncheck the option to back up your system files. Follow the steps in the wizard and when done, unzip the file you just downloaded and copy all of its contents to your newly created recovery drive. Full steps are linked in the description. You can also create a system image if you want to have a full copy of your surface as you last left it, but I'll be skipping that step and just clean installing Windows from fresh. Once that's done, we're ready to take the Surface Laptop 3 apart and install the SSD. Microsoft has specific directions on how you can do this, and it's linked as a PDF in the description. This in-depth guide will might be more helpful for you and reduce the chances of damaging the rubber feet on the bottom of your device. Anyway, let's jump in. To get started, flip over and lay your Surface Laptop closed down with the screen down on the table. You'll want to take a prick or a tweezer and pull out each of these four rubber feet. The feet towards the back are the easiest to remove as they're taped in with double sided tape. The ones in the bottom near the lid have a clip so you'll want to be careful. You don't want to damage the feet or the clips as you pull them out. Once you've removed the feet, take your T5 Torx screwdriver and unscrew each of the screws that you've just revealed, as I'm doing here. You'll want to be careful not to lose these screws. When done, turn the Surface Laptop 3 on the top and dig your finger on the side near the screen to lift the keyboard up off the chassis. You can use a plastic prick if you can't lift it with your finger or you can pry it from the front first. Just be careful not to cut or pull out any screw, any uh, cables in the middle. Once done, you can flip over and rest the now free keyboard deck on its bottom and unscrew the SSD. It's in the top left corner and it'll prop up once you release the screw and you can pull it out and push the new one in its place. 
Just uh, be sure to keep the original Microsoft SSD if you need to take your Surface in for warranty or other issues. You can then put the keyboard deck back on it inside uh, and make sure it's secure. You know it's secure when you feel the magnets pull it back down on the chassis. When done, you'll want to turn the surface back over on the screen and put the screws back in. When that's done, head back in and put each of the four feet back in their original places. It'll be a little tough to fit, but you know when the feet are secure when you hear a little click sound as you push it back into the holes. Once everything is back together, you can put, plug in your recovery USB that you created earlier. Just uh, plug it in and press the power button to turn the surface on and hold down the volume button for 15 or 20 seconds. Release the volume button and the surface will boot into the recovery USB. Uh, select your language and uh, re choose the option to recover from a drive. Choose which option you want. Uh, clean the drive will take longer, but uh, choose your option and click accept and wait while the Surface reinstalls Windows. It will reboot a few times and then bring you back to the setup screen. Uh, once that's done, uh, configure your settings, log in, and you're done. Your Surface now has more storage space. If you want, you can then verify everything works with uh, Device Manager. Uh, and check and restore your files uh, or your previous backup. And that's it. Thanks for watching.